Would you do it? If you were, if you were, um, if you could upload your consciousness to somewhere, would you do it? Would I want wow, to Heidi <laughs> asked the tough questions right up at the top. She's like, let's get to it. Could you uh, imagine the amount of money that would go into that? I mean. Yeah, let's, that's a good question. Yeah, Michael. let me, you know, so I guess the question really is, yeah, do you want to live forever in this digital afterlife? Um, and the, I, my answer would be no, I don't. So first of all, in this digital afterlife that they've created where you get upsold on everything, no way. <laughs> yeah, I know, that was that's terrible. true, yeah, you'd have to have <laughs> how much, what kind of a retirement would you have to have, right. like an after death retirement? Right. You just have to have be loaded until yeah. like, not only after death, but forever you have to be loaded. Right, what if the money runs out, then what? Right, yeah, and so, and, and, and then also, you're just gonna get bored, even if you, you can play golf every day or you can play, shoot pool every day or whatever you like to do. You could do it every day, but you're going to get bored of it. You're going to get perfect at it. First of all, mm -hmm. then you're just going to be like, well, I, I mastered that. After you master everything after uh, 300 years, you're just going to be like, yeah. <laughs> Did I'm you guys done. ever see the uh, uh, final episode of the good place? No, they, but they kind of, they kind of tackled that a bit where they go, they go up to heaven uh, finally, and, and nobody's happy because they're just tired of everything just because of exactly what you just said, Michael. They, right. They've, they've won every video game. They're, you know, their favorite team wins the Super Bowl every year for 300 years, you know. Uh, but I, I think if, if you were to ask me if I would do it. Would you do it? Um, right now? Yes. You know, if I get hit by a car, I'm like, hey, I still want to keep going. You know, I still want to, mm -hmm. if... If I'm 80 or 90, I'd probably have a different response because I'd be like, okay, you know, I'm good, I'm tired. I just want to nap for a really long time. You know? <laughs> well, that's, that's your body. That's your body being tired. That's not your mind. Well, your mind, your mind is tired. Or maybe you just, you don't want to live anymore. You know, they're, the people, once they get old, you know, it's not, some, it's not just their bodies. Mm -hmm. It's that they're like, okay, I'm good. I've seen everything. I've done everything. Um, and then there was the really interesting thing that they brought up that they just touched on. And um, they may cover this in future episodes. I would guess that they would. But I think the lady's dad said, I'm not going to do this thing because I'm waiting to meet my wife yeah, I can't up be in with... heaven. And that's, yeah. that's another thing. It's like, if your wife is dead or your husband is dead, and then you go off to do this other thing, then you're just saying, I'm going to spend the rest of eternity without them. Maybe you don't want that. Well, I think that would be what my deciding factor would be. It would be like, who would I be spending it with? But I would, <laughs> so the people that I want to spend that with, would they be, would they not be there? If they're not there, then no, absolutely not. But if there's a chance at this mo moment in my life, if there's a chance that people that I love would be there, then sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know if I get bored or not. I mean, I can, I think it's sort of like a human, we're sort of bred that way. So who knows if it's just our consciousness? Like, I don't know. What, would we get bored? I don't know. Well, so. Just bring some ethical questions too. Like is, what is the meaning of life then? If there's no death, like what are we, what yep. are we even doing? If, if we can just kind of keep doing it when we're in our afterlife. So. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah, it's, it's interesting because you notice that they, they're a little more, blase about that they're like yeah yeah but he was uploaded you know so or you're gonna be uploaded and yeah whatever I mean, i'll just upload yeah i thought it was weird the way they uploaded him that was like <laughs> i was like oh my word <laughs> and 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 what really got me was that mom and girlfriend were able to like watch it happen <laughs> like, yeah. yeah slightly traumatic yeah like, if we're gonna talk about that i have to say that that i was like I think in my notes, I says, oh, his head gets blown off and we see his anus. Like, that was just like weird. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, <laughs> like, I like, totally forgot about seeing his, his bum. I, I the, just remembered his head. It was a nice butt, though. I mean, I don't think we actually saw the anal hole, but... Uh, I paused it, it and zoomed in. Oh. <laughs> you I knew would. you would. <laughs> you would, Ryan. <laughs> no, but here, this is one of the qualms I had with the show is that at some point somebody says something to the effect of, well, who knows? I think it was the, the main lady, Nora. She says, well, who knows? You know, your body's frozen. So in the future, you know, maybe we could just bring you back. And I'm like, did we forget that you blew his head off? 
Uh, I know, just, right? Did you write that and then five pages later forget that you wrote that? Because right, yeah. his head's Grow blown new, off. Grow a new head. It's fine. His head's fine. blown off. So I don't know. They didn't, I don't know. Maybe they explained that later that they regenerate heads for future purposes. I know, which is like the opposite of what people who do the like cryogenics now believe. They believe the most important thing to freeze is the head. Totally. <laughs> So, Michael, if you were cryogenically frozen, what body part would you like to be frozen? Which I think all of it, right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm asking you. <laughs> I, I would say probably all of it. Yeah. For, sure. <laughs> for sure. The whole shebang. Yeah. What about well. everything except for the head, like an upload? <laughs> no, uh, no, no, no. DNA. <laughs> There's DNA there. So ideally, you could grow a whole new head. But the the thing that really gets me too is that like some of those people that are uploaded, they don't choose to be younger, you know, like, um, I think we saw that in the beginning, right? Yeah. Like there's, there are people, some of them have like black and white photos, which I thought was kind of right. Funny. That's cute. Why yes. would they not color them in? I, I put that in my notes too. I'm like, you know, that they could just add color to this guys, mm -hmm. but that means that the lady must have chosen to stay black and white, either that or it's just yes. more writing. Or she didn't have enough money to get color. I think the, that's a good point. I, I think the lady is like the family member, like a family member of the people that own that company. I thought that too, but then they didn't say that in the first episode. Mm, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you guys skipping ahead? No, I thought that they, I can't. Yeah, I don't think that's like a spoiler. I no, think. I don't think it's a spoiler. My she wife and I like have have, uh, have started watching some of some some more of this show too. So. Yeah. She looks like she was rolled in flour. Like it certainly <laughs> wasn't, it certainly wasn't like digitally, you know, had the color removed, which would have looked better. It was right. like she was just powdered really white. And so it just looked like she was a baked good. Like me. on Pleasantville, <laughs> like that movie Pleasantville where they oh, yeah. have like yeah. reflective makeup on people. Mm -hmm.